Jessica Caraballo is the TSA officer every passenger hopes to walk up to. If you're not a people person, that's not the place for you to be because you come into contact with so many different people. The mother of three was thrilled to land her first government job last year. Eight months later, while she's still showing up to work every day, she's one of the hundreds of thousands of government workers who isn't getting paid. She loves her job. So no matter if there's a shutdown, no shutdown, either way, she's going to make sure the airways are safe. The Carabayos are trying to stay positive as the government shutdown enters its 28th day. But that can be tough with kids at home. So we still have to make sure our kids eat, make sure they have a roof over their head and not allow them to see us sweat. You know, um, that's kind of stuff. That's stuff that we do in private. We sweat in private. Don't let the kids see the struggle. Long TSA lines across the country have been blamed on unpaid screeners calling out sick, including in Atlanta, where the airport is bracing for more long lines headed into the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. While Caraballo doesn't plan on using a sick day, she does hope politicians on both sides of the aisle understand her family's pain. We just got to wait this out and let them feud and argue and do what they have to do because they're elected officials. A crowdsourcing campaign has helped keep this family afloat while they wait for Washington to work it out. This will not change my perspective concerning, you know, my job. It won't, it won't, because the thing about it is, it's not my job's fault. Despite the impasse, they're hopeful. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.